Okay, probably one of the biggest differences in genres so far. A solemn, isolated adventure, and a colorful, radical beat-em-up. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we decide which game moves forward. It's Super Metroid vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Super Metroid uh-huh. versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Thank you, Tyler. T-I-T, Turtles in Time. Yeah. Turtles in Time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, let's, let's start with... Start, let's get off the bat. Visuals. Off, got our guideline. Yeah, got Jacob guide. prepared us these handy little... Handy dandy little handy notes. Handy. Thanks, Jacob. I, thanks, Jacob. I excelled. I don't have a pen. Can we share a pen? Someone? Okay, thanks. Anyways. You're always uh, writing. You're always writing something in your notes. I want to be the one to write. Yeah. yeah. You, you talk. I'm going to write. Okay. <laughs> you uh, talk. I'm no, going to write. No, just visuals, boys. Where do you want to get it Get it going? I'm going to I'm gonna say, for me, on this one, Turtles takes it on this one. Uh, there's not too many categories that I feel strong about, but it's... it's. I just... Wait a minute. Visually? Visually, yeah. See, I, I can already predict. Mm. I can smell. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I am wearing a Super Metroid yes. shirt, but don't let that. I'm, I'm not gonna I, buy us. He's a phony. Let let let's let's say this real quick. Let's he's a Cincinnati this. fan. We and, and we've said it thousands of thousands of times. Anytime we are doing a this versus this, mm-hmm. we have to say what we think is the negative of a, of a thing, even if it's not a negative thing, just to, for fuel for the reason why we're, we're voting yeah, that I, way. Okay, let, let me. I'm, I'm, I've said this even before we start recording. I am going into this not with a winner in mind. I'm no, not trying, no, no, I'm not no, trying no. to champion. I've kind of pre-checked, but I still. Don't I'm know trying you. to just give the objective facts and and kind of let y'all's discussion fuel my decision. Yeah, same. Um, so what I'm going to say is both of these games have a very um, wide variety. No, yeah. And contrasting. That, that they're extremely contrasting. They're, they're very yes. like. Like, for example, in Super Metroid, there's a very red area, there's a very green area, there's a very dull area, there's a very bright area. Same thing with Turtles. Turtles is probably constantly... It's constantly colorful. It it, it looks like someone inhaled, like, six or seven different highlighters and threw it all up. Hold on, if you 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 ran the the brightness up on your old CRTV, you're like, ah! Yeah. It's um, a little rough. But not only... A rough, don't you think? Not only do we have to think about it from how does it look visually, but how is it presented Presented, too, yeah. Right? I do I do say that you know, when it comes to Metroid and the animations, when we mention this, this is going to be the thing too that, that makes these categories go a little faster, is that we've already said a lot of the big, the big like, what is the standout about this game from the last the last time? So one thing y'all brought up with this versus Metroid, or not Metroid, uh, Mega Man was the, you know, the animations when you're underwater and the bubbles are coming up, when, when Sam is sitting there breathing. And let me just say, as, as someone that's not as of a fan of Super Metroid, Samus moves snappy. She's very snappy for an SNES game. As, as someone who has just had to snappy. recently replay these for, yeah. for the sake of capturing footage, um, I think Ninja Turtles has a lot more going on like because each level is like a little it's a Saturday morning cartoon yeah. so there's just like there's Foot Clan uh, ninjas popping out of everywhere they just like the, I like that one level it's, it's the Technodrome where they just kind of like a Terminator T-1000 out of the floor mm. and the way it, it looks so just like smooth the way that happens Yeah, uh, you don't get a whole lot of that with Metroid the enemies are just kind of there um, but also I think with Metroid there's it's a lot more subtle, the detail. Yeah. Um, yes. Agreed. Like that one area, uh, the Meridia uh, right. area, where it's con- you're underwater, and there's mm-hmm. like kind of like a layer of... it. Look, it it's able to remind you you're constantly underwater because there's kind of like this little ripple effect that's parallaxed over everything yeah. constantly. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know what Steve, to pick. Know, where, where, I mean, Steve says Metroid? Yeah. I say Metroid just because I really like the... Uh, I really like what Metroid tries to do with their visuals. Like, first of all, you guys kind of already touched on it. I really like the fact that, you know, the animations of Samus, I think, are really well done. You know, between the gravity jump, the, it just kind of, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, shows yeah. you how very fast it's spinning. Very, very, very smooth. smooth. Yeah. And, and then going into a morph ball, you know, um, and then, you know, the idle animations of breathing, breathing in the water, things like that. But what I, I really like about the visuals is that it's, it is, it does a really good job in my opinion in showing what an alien world would look like in that in, 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 in that oh yeah yeah 100 and so like i don't know like to me i feel like and it really was kind of a razor thin margin here so i'm not saying it's by far or anything like that i just feel like um turtles in time is 
doing what other beat em ups have kind of done, where they have that 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 you know each screen is just a layout where where you know you got enemies coming in, beat em ups, you know things like that. Um, you're going through different portions of the city. I and will say like that. that Super Metroid probably has a bigger variety in the in the, like in right. the individual level, like the areas. Yeah, that's no, what I'm right? kind of Cause referring like, to. Like Brin Star, for example, I will agree with it's that. not just like a constant like like if you're playing in Ninja Turtles. Like, let's use the first level. It's just kind of the same theme all the way to the end. It's almost kind of like repeating itself, I guess. Um, I'd be willing to say, can I say a tie? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna fair, say a tie fair. because I think I think Super Metroid is better from a presentation standpoint, <laughs> as far as like the uh, the animations and how everything like is moving on screen. But I think that Ninja Turtles has a more detailed like mm -hmm. the it really meets the aesthetic it's trying to get as yeah. far as being a cartoon right i'm thinking about the turtles getting smushed smushed and the falling down the falling caves the sewer uh, yeah um but I, I think it's a tie for because they both excel in areas that each other doesn't what about what about audio that's a tough one i'm gonna go ahead and say it i you guys have kind of really persuaded me on the, the, the Metroid themes when it comes to the music. Yeah. I, as a fan of a Ninja Turtles, as someone that has a special place in my heart for Ninja Turtles, and not only just this game, but just Ninja Turtles in general and their music, and then what Turtles in Time does for the music for Ninja Turtles. Throughout the levels, they're the amazing songs, but I just go back to the, the thing that's been recurred through these episodes is that Metroid's music sets that theme of isolation. It's where it's used. Immersion, just looping storytelling. The same Dude, I was going into this thinking I might pick Ninja Turtles because I'm, I was... When I edit these, whenever I'm doing things that don't require me to sync any any audio or listen, I'm playing the music of the games in the background mm -hmm. to get me in the mode to get hyped yeah. up. Um, and <clears throat> Ninja Turtles has like I think piece for piece on a loop. Yes, it's really good. But I think you're right. I think the way that Metroid introduces the uh, the music mm -hmm. to set the themes. I mean, there's areas you go in like whenever you um, you go into a room and there might be an event that happens, like a bad guy pops up. You kind of get that burn, 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 burn. Yeah. And then and something pops out, like it's able to shift dynamically, whereas with Ninja Turtles, it's just kind of the, the same great music yeah. that I have no complaints with consistently through. Uh, also... That's a great point, too, because honestly, you think about that, I mean, maybe I'm reaching here, but like, that kind of, if that's if that's kind of, I don't know if the other games have done it before, but like, that's a thing that happens in modern gaming, right? That's a that's a meme. Like you walk in a room, and all of a sudden, don't don't like, oh, it's a boss fight. What's going on? Like yeah. boss fight music, right? Yeah. That's a thing that when the games. boss music. All well, of a even goes on. Right. even other games on this list, like I'm 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 just happen to look at Link to the Past here. It, I don't even think it does a no. whole lot. I mean, it has scripted scenes where it mm. has music that goes with the theme, but a lot of times it's just kind of a looped Loop. mm -hmm. song. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, and also sound effects. I, I really yeah. like the sound effects for Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Uh, especially the voice clips. There's a lot of good voice in that game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, there's actually one voice line in Metroid in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going Metroid. The last Metroid is in captivity. See, where Steve. You I gotta go with Metroid, man. I mean, it's nothing against Turtles in Time. Turtles in Time's got... Oh, you already did yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did his beforehand. <laughs> I, 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 I've kind of already did it. I did, I did. These I check did. marks might move, though. Uh, and, and mine could very well, but um, but I'm sticking with my, my guns here. Metroid audio is just perfect in every way as far as what it tries to do, as far as showing you that isolation, that feeling of isolation. And then the, the sound effects, I think, you know, between the power beam, the wave beam, ice beam, mm -hmm. the missile, super missile, power bomb, all that stuff, man. That's iconic. Mm -hmm. It's all iconic, you know. Nothing against Turtles in Time, you know. It's, it, it does that really well. It's got a nice soundtrack, but I mean, you know. Trying to do the rubber pencil thing. Oh, oh. Uh, well, okay, we gotta keep okay, moving. Okay, mechanics. Yeah. Move. We had two uh, minutes. I'm going Metroid straight up because I just recently played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I realized something. When you're playing that game by yourself, it's not as fun. It is fun, but it's not as fun as playing it with a buddy. But also, yeah, if you don't like, call me, say get good, say skill issue. That game will Keep tear your man. butt up. No. If you're looking at the gameplay footage, I'm probably doing really well, but I get past the Technodrome and I get destroyed. Um, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm playing through the stuff in my head. I'm like, I I'm, just I'm feel. With you. I feel like uh, I mean, Metroid is. You know, game gameplay genres aside, I feel like Metroid is just a more well-paced 
kind of as it goes on, it consistently gets better. Um, and level design with Metroid. Like, exactly, and I think I think what yeah. what really gives Metroid an overwhelming advantage here with the mechanics, is, or that's your concern, is the fact that it does it it does puzzle solving in such a unique way. You have to use all of Samus's abilities to come up with solutions to these puzzles. Shine, sparking. I think and, what I, I think what you're yeah. I think what you said just made me think. Whenever we put Mega Man X and Super Metroid together, one of the biggest reasons we did that is because those are two games on, on this whole bracket that require a lot of player agency and decision making. Right. As far as and, and, and strategy, layers of strategy with that, whereas like with Mega Man, it was pick who you want to kind of rock, paper, scissors and make your game easier or do it the other way around. Uh, whereas Metroid, same thing. It rewards you for um, your initiative and your problem solving, however you choose to solve those problems. Um, whereas Ninja Turtles is just kind of, as we say, plain old dango fun. It is. It is. I, it, it doesn't dis, 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 yeah. It doesn't detract from the Ninja Turtle gameplay, but I, I and this is again coming from someone that's a Turtles fan. Mm-hmm. It's hard for me to say that, but I, I just I can't argue with the, the no level doubt. of design and and what you you know that would you say player agency? That's the word we're using a lot. Um, yeah, yeah I gotta go with Metroid. Um, narrative. Gotta <laughs> be Metroid, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Not. It's I, Turtles. Ninja Turtles. It's a Saturday morning cartoon. It's Turtles has the. It's great. It, it's the I say the Mario. What's the the Mario effect? Like the Mario stories are all kind of the same. You, Bowser's gotten t- kicked. Uh, Peach here. He has the yeah, technical yeah, room. Yeah, stuttered. Right. Yes. It's fine. Yeah. It's good. It gives me. You an know excuse. what you're doing in a turtle game. But if I'm playing Shredder's Revenge or Turtles in Time, I really don't care what's going on. I just want to, I just want to kick some shell. Stuff up. Just yeah. want to kick some shell and yeah. move on. Yeah. Uh, Super Metroid just has a really good narrative that is supporting a, an ongoing narrative yeah. from previous games. Exactly. Right. I, I don't have anything to add to that. Um, yeah. The only thing I'd add is that I, I kind of uh, fudged up. A little bit. I accidentally checked off. And also, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Ninja Turtles. And I was like, oops. That's okay. That's Tell why really this feel. is not concrete. Tell us how you really feel. Um, but no, I think also, uh, once again. Right off the bat, like the, you said, the last Metro is in how, The environmental storytelling. Continuing from the first game. Throughout yeah. the game. Second game. Kind of, Second, kind of, sorry. Kind of learning as you go. That's also good. Okay. All right. We can kind of breeze through these a little bit because I think these are going to be a little bit oh, easier. Yeah. Uh, I'll yeah. tell you right now, standing the test of time is a tie for me. Both these games are good, but if I have to pick one, I'm picking Super Metroid because I still think the Super Metroid is probably the best Metroid game ever made. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Whereas Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge is just better. Dang, I forgot all about. Yeah, Shredder's it's just gonna, better. Yeah, if you're gonna pick, well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna play it. that card, then that that changes. If you things. ask me right yeah. now, which one would I rather play? Mm-hmm. In, in, Reminder, I just right. played through almost the entirety of right. Turtles in Time yesterday. Okay, I changed my mind. For, for, I'd I'm, rather I'm, play I'm, Shredder's Revenge. I'm still sticking, I'm still sticking with Tur- Ninja Turtles. Because if I'm saying, if I'm in a, on a, this is a really weird just way I'm thinking of this. But I'm on a desert island that's got power. And I have a Super it's Nintendo. Got <laughs> it's got a Super Nintendo. And I got Turtles in Time mm-hmm. and Metroid. I'm going to be pe- playing Turtles in Time. Mm-hmm. It's just something I want to pick up. Because it's got the good old dang old fun concept. I get the, well, that's the, fair. And I get honestly, the Metroid argument though. But if if you take if you take Shredder's Revenge out of there, I'd say it was a tie. Yeah. But it, because yeah. Shredder's Revenge is there, um, and I actually completely forgot about Shredder's Revenge. Um, but that's if, a good if, game. If you take Shredder's Revenge out of there, in my mind, that's I was really thinking, you know, game. like, oh, well, if you're gonna pick up, if you're gonna, if you're like, man, I really want to pick up one of the old turtles. Turtles beat 'em up, so you're gonna pick Turtles in Time over the other one. Yeah. Um, and if you're gonna to want to pick up a Metroid, uh, especially 2D Metroid, nine times out of ten, you're more than likely gonna pick uh, Super Metroid because that's the best. Mm-hmm. 2D, it's the best one. Yeah. The best 2D that's Metroid. Good. That's like, good. You know. I mean, good. I mean, Fusion's good, but Fusion's very, very linear in comparison to what mm-hmm. people do with Super Metroid. Hey, uh, real quick, ten seconds. Mm-hmm. You just replayed through Fusion. Did I did. Your feelings still the same, or did you? Mm-hmm. Are you did you, did you learn anything new about yourself about Metroid Fusion? No, I love it. Okay. Right. Still love it. Uh, um, Revolutionary. <laughs> Super Metroid. That game is really, like, it was pushing boundaries. Yeah. As far as how can you tell a story in the game, how can you give that, we use player agency. Yeah. How how can you expand upon all that? I'm trying to think of a game like, Because um... Turtles in Time, it really, it's, it's, 
it's, turtles make. Uh, I'm trying to think like like turtles take Manhattan from NES. Like the DNA from that game to Turtles in Time is really still kind of the same. Well, what's yeah. revolutionary about Turtles in Time is that it was just the best beat 'em up mm-hmm. to play. I mean, at the time, yeah. I'd rather play it than um, Final Fight. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't, no, I agree. Don't don't ask me if I'd rather play that or Streets of Rage because I'm a Streets of Rage dude. Dude, but uh, I just have turtle vibes. Anyway, I'm doing yeah. super. I'm doing super Metroid. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that. I'll, I'll agree Metroid with Metroid. Too. All right, and then this is an easy one. What's best rep- representative of the console? It's gonna be Metroid, biased, especially. You know. I mean, Su- Samus Steve, is Steve, Steve, Nintendo thing. Steve made a good point on one of our episodes. I can't remember which one it was, but you said that basically any time a first party goes up here, it's it's hard it's not hard to pick not it. To yeah, pick, yeah. Um, but there are some rare instances where you can kind of make an argument. But I mean, in I, this case, well, see, okay, I feel like. Look, here's, here's, all right, you're, you're, I it's the on. 90s, it's the 90s. It's the lunch table. We're eating yeah. our, our, mm-hmm. our Salisbury mm-hmm. steak with corn and a chocolate milk in a bag because we're from Louisiana. Yeah, our Swanson TV mm-hmm. dinner. Yeah, all right, we're eating our, our nasty lunch food. Yeah. And Steven's like, hey guys, I just got Turtles in Time. That's why you should play the Super Nintendo. But then Jacob's like, oh, well, I have Hyperstone Heist. That's why you should play the Sega Genesis. Yeah. But I'm like, I have Super Metroid. That's why you should play Super Nintendo. No, because yeah, you have your alternatives, mm-hmm. but... Dude, 100%. There is no, there is no Super Metroid equivalent. Yeah. Of the Sega Genesis. Well, I, that, you're, you're basically kind of saying what I was saying is that, is that the other thing going for this again, again, first party with Metroid, but Turtles in Time was an arcade game. Yep. So there's that as well. It's, exactly. revo- it's revolutionary though that the they Super took that arcade, yeah, the Super Nintendo version, apart from not being able to play four characters, is almost better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably better. Huh? All right, we 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 don't have to take time on this one, fellas. Do you, oh, you yeah, go ahead and just say what the Super winner Metroid, is, dude. Come on. I want to say it. I want to say that Ninja Turtles is an incredible game. Oh, without a doubt. I didn't yeah. want to put it down last night while I was recording it. Uh, yeah. I pretty much played through half the game before I put it down. But Super Metroid is just one of the all-time greats. If it's if it's not in the the gaming hall of fame, then it should be. The gaming it's, hall it's of, one of fame. It's one of the games that, like, if you were to ask me, like, what do you think best represents the 16-bit? Like, what what is one of the most monumental games of the 16-bit generation? Oh yeah, I think Super Metroid's on that list without a doubt. I, without a doubt. I as I just said at the beginning of the podcast, podcast wrong, wrong episode. Um, wrong series. Wrong series. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, go ahead, get it up. Um, Why would we do, do that? Geriatrics? Uh, Why would we do that? As someone who is old and grew up with Ninja Turtles, the original Ninja Turtles, and loves that. I mean, I've said it on the last the last series, uh, or the last episode with uh, when we were Ninja Turtles was going against Street Fighter. <laughs> That's what got me into martial arts. That's why I'm doing the career path that I have. Because the Ninja Turtles? Turtles? Because the Ninja Turtles inspired me to so go into martial arts. So wait, you're cosplaying as a Ninja Turtle this whole time? Oh, he's a furry. Yo, yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought you, I thought you was a furry. Yeah. I thought you was a fox. You're a scaly. You got scaly. You're a shelly. Were you, were you, did you want to dress up as a Ninja Turtle before you wanted to be a fox? Yes. Do turtles have scaly? I did. I was an internal for Halloween one year. Anyways, that's besides the point. I gotta go with Samus and Super Metroid, dude. It hurts. It hurts it to hurt say that, him, but, but it, I cannot deny the importance that this game laid the foundation at. Like, NES Metroid, if they wouldn't have capitalized on Super Metroid, I don't know if that series could have... I mean, it could have kept going, but I don't know that like the, the, the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance would have maybe progressed it forward if Super Metroid wouldn't have came along and did what it did. Super Metroid wins. There you go. (laughs) He got it. Ugh, shell shock. Super Metroid shines sparks into the semifinals, but will it make it to the number one spot? Subscribe to find out. Leave us a comment down below on how you feel about these two games, and don't forget to leave a like on the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.